packed his bags and went to stay with a friend. I didn't know he would be so mad about it and he hasn't been answering any of our calls or texts. So am I the asshole? Yes! <laughs> That is your blood brother and you slutted out his wife for three years straight while she was in many relationships and so were you. And when they started talking at no point while you saw him getting serious with this woman, did you sit him down and tell him that you had rubbed your balls and dick all over his future wife? Imagine marrying a woman and your brother has banged her more times than you have. That's a hard thing for any man to wrap his brain around. And the fact that neither one of you cared or were considerate enough of his feelings to warn him or tell him about it before they got married shows that both of y'all ain't shit. And to be honest, I'm not buying the, oh, it's not his business. It happened before they even met. Okay, well, you still could have told him so that you would not be having this conversation now. Hell, to be honest, it would have been better if y'all dated. At least then he could say, well, maybe they just liked each other. Cool, it didn't work out. But now he has to know that not only did you not date, but you were able to slut his wife out with no commitment. And she was giving you vagina for years because the sex was that good? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, uh, you are the asshole and your brother should not talk to either one of you again. But I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. But look, if you made it this far into the video, you might as well follow and subscribe to the podcast on YouTube so you never miss another one. I'm Joe Stone and I'll see you in the next one.